Hello crafty friends, my name is Alicia but you can call me Crafty Owl and it is time for the monthly sheet load showcase. I hope you'll stick around and see all of the wonderful cards that my team of collaborators has created this month. I know I say it every month, but the Sheet Load Showcase is one of my favorite to stop by with. If you're newer to my channel or you haven't ever watched one of these, I do like to stop by each month and just give you a one-stop shop to look at all the cards my team of collaborators has created using the latest Sheet Load of cards. Now, as always, you can find their videos with the hashtag in the title, or if you go over to Instagram, you can search for the hashtag or use the link in the description box below, but I know sometimes it's easier to see them all here. Now, after the video, if you want any more information on the cards you saw, everybody is linked in the description box below. I know that they would love for you to stop by, see what they've created, and leave them some love. In front of me is the January 2023 sheet load of cards. This month we made eight cards with just two pieces of 12 by 12 pattern paper and some cardstock. Now if you haven't yet seen the debut video where I tell you how you can download the sheet load for free, or if you haven't watched how I made my first set using a Valentine's Day theme, I will have the debut and the process video linked in the description box below. Now you might have noticed another card here, and earlier this month I shared a set of four cards I made using the single card dimensions with the new Spellbinders kit. So I will link this video below as well, so you can go take a look at the new kit and see all four cards that I created. Now don't forget we also love to see what you have been creating, and up at the top of each printable are the hashtags that we would love for you to use here on YouTube or over on Instagram. Why don't we go ahead and see what my team created this month. Up first today is Amalia who shares her creations on YouTube at Cool Cakes and Crafts with Amalia and she has created a set of birthday cards this month. I like how she has some of her skinny strips at the top of the card and some at the bottom and those fun floral die cuts. Ashley, who shares on her Mint Twist Cards YouTube channel, created a load of cards this month. And one thing fun she did was use some Project Life cards for her pattern papers. I hope you'll check out her video to see how she decided to pair them together and cut them up. Barbara, who is at One Busy Bee on Instagram, made a wonderful set of New Year's cards this month. I love her embossing on that background cardstock and the fun bubbly champagne image. Beth of the Bourbon Creek Crafts YouTube channel also went with a birthday theme for her cards this month. I love those fun papers. They're so festive and who wouldn't love to get one of these on their birthday? Carmen of the Choose Joy with Carmen channel created a set of Valentine's Day cards this month. I love that floral heart paper and her stamped and die cut focal points. Chelsea, who you might know as Creative Chelsea here on YouTube, created this set of gorgeous thank you cards. I love the pattern paper she used. It has so much texture to it and that big, bold floral die cut. Danny, who is Danny's Dreams here on YouTube, created a set of friendship cards this month. I love that sentiment and those gorgeous papers. Karen Aiken of the same name channel created birthday cards with the January 2023 sheet load. I like her variety of focal point shapes and how she has stamped some of the sentiments straight onto the pattern paper. This next set of cards created by Karen of Karen's Crafting Company here on YouTube made me smile. I love that big sentiment and the pretty florals and polka dots she used. 
Lisa, who is at Scrapbook Girl on Instagram, created a set of cute and fun cards that would be good for the young or the young at heart. I definitely think they are dino mite. Mariah, who shares her creations over on Instagram as at Fuzzy Slippers Designs, created a fun set of winter valentines. I am loving that mitten shaker. Noemi, who is at AZ Crafty over on Instagram, created a gorgeous set of all occasion cards this month. I love all of the foiling on these cards and the gorgeous floral focal points. Speaking of gorgeous florals, this next set from Sandy, who is at Stamp with Sandy on Instagram, has me in amazement. I love those floral pattern papers. I definitely have to find out how to get some. Up next is a set of cards from Toby, who you might know from her Biddy Penny channel here on YouTube. She always puts her own fun twist on things, and this month is no exception. She created mini slim lines, and then she used the same layout idea to create some larger cards. Yvette of the Yvette Olea Creates YouTube channel used a crafty collection of papers for her cards this month. I love the different cut-aparts for the focal points and how these would make great cards for your crafty friends. Didn't you just love to see all of those together? If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Don't forget to visit all of the collaborators linked in the description box below. And until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.